back to the YouTube channel of Kanak Infosystems LLP. If you've been following our channel for quite a while, you might be aware of our new Moodle series. If you're new here, Moodle is an online open source learning management system. And with the tutorials that we put, we help the users like you navigate through and make the optimum usage of this platform. Now on your screens, you see a blank Moodle site. This is the home page of a Moodle site. And today we will be configuring this to change the look and feel of it and customize it to our needs. Today's tutorial would be helpful for the learners and trainers and admins who wish to transform their Moodle learning experience. So without any further ado, I'll quickly log into my Moodle site. And right now I'm on my dashboard. I'll go to site administration. And in the general uh, settings itself, I have the site home settings. From here, I am able to change the site name and give the short name for my site. So I'll quickly do that. And about the site home uh, summary, we'll be talking about this further in our video. Now we can select what we want to showcase on our site home apart from the generic content that we put for the non logged in users. So I can select from announcement, list of courses, list of categories and many more. However, I choose to keep my content on the home page generic for the non logged in users. So I will not select anything. Now, if I want to have a different kind of a home page for my logged in users, I can select what to showcase here for them and I have selected a list of available courses so the logged in users will be able to see available courses on their home pages. Now I'll quickly save this. Now you can see that the site name and the site short name has been changed. Now I'll quickly go to home and I'll turn on the edit mode. Once I do that, I have a gear icon or the settings icon, which will allow me to edit the site home summary that we just saw in the settings. I would like to put a quote about learning. So I have it ready with me already and I'll just copy it and I'll just paste it. Now I will be adjusting the alignment and the font size of the same. However, I don't want to keep it just a text and bore my learners, trainers and everyone. So I'll, I'll add a video into this. To do that, I'll select this multimedia icon over here. Click on video. Select the already ready video that I have in my system. Now in the display options, now I can give a width and the height for my video and in the advanced settings, I'll select play automatically and loop so that it keeps playing. Once it is done, I also feel that after scrolling down on the page, I would not want my learners or trainers to scroll up back to login. So I would just want to provide them a login button over here. And for that, I have a piece of code written that we will be sharing with you in the description as well. I'll go to the source code and I'll paste it here. And the button arrives. So now when I'll save these changes and I'll log out, I have my quote my video and my login button. Once I click on this login button, it will take me to the login page again. This is it for this video. We will be taking you through other features and other functionalities of a Moodle platform and help you transform your learning experience in our further videos. So stay tuned and subscribe to our channel. If you like this video, don't forget to comment and share it among your group of trainers. Thank you.